From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching 5 Minutes with Herb. From the flight deck to your TV set, you're watching 5 Minutes with Herb. I'm your host, Herb Jackson, and as always, my goal here today is to make this the best 5 minutes of your day. So I ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy this show. Welcome aboard. Today, I'm very pleased to bring across a working actor who has over 30 credits to his uh, resume. He's been in notable shows such as Grey's Anatomy, Silicon Valley, and has even made an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, did I also mention that he is one of the, listed as one of the notable graduates from Westview High School here in the Valley of the Sun. So without further ado, let's welcome aboard my guy, Alex Skinner. Before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about growing up here in the Valley of the Sun? Uh, yeah, I, I grew up in the West Valley in the, the Avondale Phoenix border with my twin brother and my mom. Um, you know, we were sort of just like your average kids, just going to school and, and trying to make the most of it, trying to do well enough to get into college and, and to, to move on forward. And um, I think for me, Arizona has kind of been um, a sticking point that I just, when I write here anything about Arizona or Phoenix or even see cacti or anything, I just sort of, um, I, I get like a warm feeling in my, in my stomach, um, just thinking about being uh, at home. So um, growing up in Arizona was always just really, really fun for me. And especially leaving Arizona now, I think I just kind of get heart homesick for it quite a bit. So I guess growing up in Arizona, did you always have a desire to act? Um, when I was in, I believe, kindergarten, we had like, you know, you do like little class plays and things. And I was like, well, I'm going to be the narrator for this play because he has the most lines. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I think I think I had the, the acting bug very early. I did some drama club um, growing up in, in um, elementary school and in high school. And um, I think when I got to college, it was the kind of thing like, well, maybe I should try and like, you know, finagle my way into, into this career path. But I came to LA to go to school at Pepperdine. And, you know, I, when I was at Pepperdine, I, I tried to do everything. I, I tried to do acting. Um, I did some television production so I could figure out how all the cameras work and, you know, what everyone behind the scenes was doing. And then I, I majored in creative writing so I could figure out, you know, how do I get an idea from, you know, page to screen? So um, I think that's really helped me um, when jumping into the entertainment industry because you know what everyone does. I mean, what you just described is kind of what I'm trying to learn right now. I mean, that's, it's understanding, you know, camera, lighting, all that good stuff. Um, once you started over there, can you tell us, did you have any really like struggles initially? You know, it, I feel like I had a lot of struggles because as much as you train yourself to be a performer and to, to know how to act, I think you don't always get all of the advice you need to actually pursue acting or to, you know, to jump into the business side of it and figure out how to market yourself or even how to like get an audition. Because usually you don't have an agent or a manager right off the bat. So you kind of navigate those waters and it's like, without any guidance, I didn't really know what I was supposed to do. So, you know, I made a lot of mistakes. You know, I went to auditions and I didn't like cut my headshot to the size of the resume and you know, I got chewed out by a casting director, a commercial casting director for that. And, um, you know, you don't know how early you're supposed to arrive for an audition to make sure you have enough time to park and to find the building, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so you go from some of those early struggles to landing a role on a show like Grey's Anatomy. Can you tell us a little bit how that experience was? You know, it was, it was amazing. It was one of the first things I had booked. Um, and I think it was in its 10th in its season. So like when you get an audition for Grey's Anatomy, it's like, you know what to expect a little bit because it's not a new show. You kind of know how you can plug yourself into it. Um, but they give you, a, you know, kind of a, a dummy script where they have different names for the characters. And then, you know, once I booked it, I realized who I was gonna be working with. And I was like, oh, this is a scene with Sandra O oh and Ellen Pompeo, it, like they're in this scene with me. And as one of the first things I'd done, it was like kind of overwhelming because you don't want to mess up in front of these veterans. You know, they've been, they've been doing this for such a long time. Um, but then I got on set and everyone was just so welcoming and, and inviting. And, you know, they obviously see tons of co-stars and guest stars all the time on that show. But um, 
Um, I think it was just a really great experience for me. I remember Sandra O oh specifically, um, I wasn't even, we were, they were setting up a different shot or they were turning the camera around and um, she came up to me, I was looking off and she just came up to me and was like, hey, you're great. Like, I'm gonna make sure when it's on your coverage, like I'm gonna give you whatever it takes, whatever different options you need um, when we turn around and take your shots. And I was like, oh wow. Probably one of the reasons for its success is because of how the cast and, and the crew treats those that are on the show, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I think they do a good job in the environment. I know they they have um, just a history of, of not tolerating, you know, any kind of nonsense. So I think they they definitely work really hard to make sure that people are welcome and and create an environment where you can be creative and, and give a good performance because um, everyone's just there to support you. So then you go from one of your first experiences with Grey's Anatomy to a few years later, coming on to uh, Silicon Valley. Tell us how that experience was. That was just, I mean, I remember that day was stressful because I had, it was like back back auditions and I had to remember a lot of lines and, and um, I remember thinking I didn't do a good job in the audition. I remember thinking, oh, I got, it was okay. The take I got was okay, but it wasn't the best. And, and then um, I found out a month later, actually, it's it usually not that long for a show like this, but it was a month later and my agent told me uh, two things. He said, one, you booked uh, Silicon Valley, so congrats. Two, I'm also leaving uh, our agency to move on to a different company. Oh. And so it was sort of a mixed emotion time. Before we let you go, my man, I got to get you into the lightning round. As a tennis player, who would you prefer as your doubles partner? Rafael Nadal or Roger Federer? I might go with Nadal. Nadal. Better son's nickname, Thunder Dan or The Matrix? Ooh, I like Thunder Dan. Who's a better mascot, the gorilla or Baxter? You're going to get me in trouble, but I got to say Baxter now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out for some food here. Where are you going to take me to? Jenny's Ice Cream or Burger Fi? Ooh. I was sweet too, so I'm going to go to Jenny's. Jenny's it is. Alex, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and playing along. Folks, that'll do it for another episode of Five Minutes with Herb. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.